So today I'm going to be doing a planner sticker haul and as you can see I have a lot of sticker kits to show you and um, they are mostly mini vertical kits the majority are from planner face um, and then we've got a couple of glam planner and scribble prints co which I'm really excited about because I've never had any sticker kits from them before and um, I've also got a Tilly journals new planner which I'm going to be using from September and um, so I'm really excited to share that with you as well. There is going to be some planner face mystery kits just as a little spoiler alert i do have the september mystery which is next to me off camera i'm going to leave that till the end of the video there is a few others we do have the august one um but then the rest of them are from the start of the year so i believe kind of like march april time so i'm sure everyone's probably got them by now i think i'll leave the mysteries till last just in case um but yeah i'm really excited to share everything with you it's been a long time since I've even done a YouTube video, never mind a planning YouTube video. I've just had a bit of a break recently um, and the same on my Instagram. So from kind of now onwards, I'm going to be sharing um, sticker hauls again, plan with me's and then also photos of my spreads over on my Instagram. Start with the ones that I've purchased recently, which are mostly autumn themed. Um, I have had a few breaks within planning and that's just been when I've kind of felt like I needed it. But especially the last few years during like lockdowns when I was working from home and just obviously not going out there wasn't a lot to plan so that's when I mostly had breaks but I feel like every time I've come back from a little break I've always came back um ready for autumn and Halloween and I think it's because the autumn and Halloween kits are my absolute favorite of all kits to use um I just absolutely love planning in this season so I think I'm going to start off with this one because this is the one where I got like the little freebie um and this was autumn vibes I'll get the little freebies out first I got the august freebie and also cat's freebie as well so this is the august freebie which is green and purple so really really cute colors i think this will be perfect for kind of like halloween time because there's usually some kits with purple and green in um i like that there's a little dog ball because if you didn't know i've now got a little puppy um who is absolutely having my life she's just having a nap in a crate at the minute while i film this video otherwise um she would be running around wild um so yeah absolutely love the little freebie and then this is the one from cat's um cord which is cat 10 and oh my god is this just not the most perfect freebie you've ever seen for autumn i absolutely love blue and orange together i think it's such a pretty color combo i absolutely love these little um kind of um icons as well and the scripts and yeah this is just perfect for autumn so moving on to the kit itself i just thought this color combination was so pretty obviously the like minty kind of sage green with the orange and the pink i absolutely love the pumpkins and the boots and the sky scene so i absolutely loved these full boxes so i do have the mini kit which is the majority of the kits that i've got i think are a mini kit and um, because that's all i need for my new planner but there may be a few full kits thrown in there as well um so yeah absolutely love those and they are just the extra um like fashion girls and the different skin tones and hair colors um obviously we've got like the weekly checklist and some of the ombre heart boxes the date covers I am obsessed with like this kind of sweater knit pattern is so pretty got some icons flags the decor glitter headers another full box obviously i won't have to go through this with every kit um because they're mostly the same got some of the square boxes and um, quarter boxes oh my god i'm honestly just so excited to use this and then we've got a really really good um selection of functional boxes so we've got some half boxes quarter boxes appointment labels some really pretty washi as well like look at that that is gorgeous and um, so that is the autumn vibe kit next up we have booville which i'm going to be using around halloween i think i'm probably going to use two to three halloween kits i don't know which one i'll actually use for like halloween week um but yeah this is booville and i am honestly obsessed now that i've got a puppy i'm even more obsessed with any dogs in kit i mean i've always loved any pets um cats too because i've got cats but this little puppy how cute is that and i just really love these colors like to me when i see halloween kits i really like there to be some orange in there because i just associate orange with autumn and halloween and pumpkins um, but I do also like the touch of purple and pink um, just a little bit different but still very Halloween-y and yeah I just love the little um, chalkboard and the suite and the um, house which is obviously all decorated there so I really really like this kit I cannot wait for Halloween this year 
again the same layout and honestly that pattern behind the date covers i'm obsessed with again just these colors are just so nice another full box there and oh my god this washi i really liked um anna's monthly kit version with this artwork um but i have only chosen a planner with weekly um layouts because i just never planned monthly but if i was gonna buy a monthly kit for october it definitely would have been the Booville one Um, i don't know if that's actually what it's called but it was that artwork because i just loved this pattern which was included um so i'm really really excited about that and again i just love all the colors and artwork and we've got the extra fashion girls and also this one which is really cute which says happy halloween so i like that you can use that if you are using it halloween week but to be honest like other years i have used halloween kits every week of october so i like that this box is included so if you were actually using it over halloween you could use that on the day okay next up we have lakeside now lakeside when i seen it was definitely one of my favorite autumn kits of this year so this actually reminds me of one of the first ever weekly kits I purchased years and years ago when I first started planning, um, which was obviously an autumn one. It had the same like colours here um, and it was just very similar in style. So it kind of obviously took me back to then. So I really wanted to pick this one up. I love the little stack of books and the pumpkins with the coffees. And I love that this is obviously like a double box, which you can either separate or put together. Um, and also these patterns are really, really cute. And obviously the little lake house, it's really giving me very river vibes not gonna lie and i'm obsessed with that series at the moment um again anna just picks the best backgrounds for the date covers like they are always so cute and then also the little bike and basket scene there which is really pretty i just honestly these colors are just screaming autumn and i'm honestly so obsessed because autumn is my favorite season and so i'm really excited to use this kit and again gorgeous washi and the extra fashion girl i don't know which i'm going to use maybe this one because my hair's kind of brown at the moment i always go between blonde and brown but my hair is more brown at the moment so probably going to use that one okay next up we've got the guy fawkes night kit and i was really excited when i seen this because I always look for a fireworks themed kit for um bonfire night and realistically i don't think there is many like last year i'm sure anna brought out a bonfire kit so i did use that last year but every other year i've never found anything and um, that like symbolized it or with any fireworks or definitely guy fawkes night like that is very unique and obviously i will definitely be using this in my planner so i'll just pick that up i absolutely love these colors like in november i still like to use autumn themed kits obviously on the run up to christmas but i do prefer to get ones that have slightly darker tones and maybe some blues and some reds as well as the oranges and browns and greens um just because i think it's a nice transition and november to me is still obviously autumn but it's what like more cozy i was gonna say warmer it's not warmer obviously the weather's colder but it's more cozy and obviously getting more festive on the run up to christmas so yeah i absolutely love this kit i love the double box of the fireworks i think that's really pretty the little hot chocolate and the cupcake and the fireworks and the little dog oh my god i'm honestly obsessed i don't know if i'll use this because this actually scares me i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um, but yeah i really really love this artwork and again like can we just please Oh my god i love it honestly these colors are just so vibrant like i honestly cannot wait to see these in my planner another full box as well and oh my god the fireworks scene i just love it yeah these colors are just so pretty um so i'm really really glad that anna brought this kit out and then obviously the extra fashion girls i really love this kind of hair color like i know it's brown but it's kind of like got a pinkish tint to it like i would love my hair to be that color so that is the Guy Fox Night Kit. Still got a couple of recent ones from Planner Face, but I'm just going to go on to these ones here. So we've got one from Glam Planner and one from Scribble Prints Co. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, I have never had stickers from these shops. So I am honestly so excited about this because especially SPC, it's like a shop that I've always dreamed of purchasing from. And like, I always watch Andrea's videos and also... um you know like follow her instagram and see everybody using her weekly kits and honestly like 
they are just amazing but i think just because of like custom charges and shipping charges and the time it takes and all of that stuff i've just never got around to purchasing from them whereas um these were actually purchased on a buy sell trade group and it was one of the uk ones um so i was really happy to pick these up because it means that i can obviously you know kind of see what they're like and you know actually get a feel for the kit before i actually purchase them from the shop itself if that makes sense so yeah we've got belladonna i'll show you that one and then i'll show you the glam planner one so i'll open this up um i can't remember what size kit this was because obviously like i said the rest of them from planner face are mainly minis um and i wouldn't say this is like a deluxe kit but it's i don't know it's obviously like got more pages than what um the other ones i've shown you were um but yeah i don't know what the actual size of this is so we've got some little extras there of the pumpkins and these are the full boxes how pretty are these obviously it's glossy paper as well which i'm honestly obsessed with not a lot of uk shops do glossy paper i'd say um but i'm not really too fussed either way like i do appreciate a good glossy paper but i know that matte paper is a lot easier for me to write on so yeah i absolutely love the colors in this kit i think this came out a while ago if i'm correct like this artwork um and i never actually purchased it so when i seen it i thought to be honest it is like a really kind of autumnal kit but it's not too autumny so i'm thinking september for this one maybe towards my birthday because it's got like crystals and things and i absolutely love that so yeah i just think i might use this towards my birthday and um, which is the 29th of september so obviously towards the end there's a little black cat which i absolutely love because i do have a black cat myself and i love like the coffee and just this kind of like cottagey vibe to it i just think it's really pretty um, we've obviously got some glitter headers, some movie stickers, a little ombre heart checklist, the bottom washi and date covers, which is really pretty, like that gingham, um, another full box, a bunch of decor, which is really, really cute, a weekend banner, some flags, weekly checklists, and then we've got some half um, and quarter boxes, or are these, yeah, half and quarter I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, these are half. These are quarter. And then obviously we've got some of the like the little things. So, um, the layout of it, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's gonna work. Like I feel like it will because there is more stickers than like obviously like Anna's kits, but equally i don't think there's as many boxes so i'm gonna have to see how that works but obviously it's gonna be a rare occasion that i have an spc kit in my planner at the moment anyways and then moving on to glam planner again obsessed with glam planner i love watching her videos um so yeah again to get one of her kits i was really excited about and this one i've already took it out of here because it had ripped but it is the um, mystery kit september 2021 and it's a glitch one so i'm yet to find the glitch like i'm not really sure what's wrong with it at the moment obviously i'm sure i'll find out when i actually plan with it um and again a gorgeous autumn kit and um, we've got the little frame that says hello fall again got a dog got a bit of a theme going on here with a pet um some really cute muffins the sofa the socks the pumpkins the fairy lights i am obsessed with this i'm not gonna lie um, we've got some heart checklists. I'm definitely not going to probably use these, um, but I might use them in like a little notebook or something because I do really, really like them. Some more um, full boxes, some appointment labels, um, weekly checklists, some more obviously boxes, the rounded half boxes, quarter boxes, some more heart checklists and glitter headers. I've got a bunch of scripts which I find really useful. I'll definitely be making use of these. Obviously not target ones because we don't have a target here. Um, but the other ones would probably work. And um, we've got some deco, a movie sticker, some bill due, and some habit trackers as well. And then we've got some patterned washi strips, I think, um, and little things. A bunch of functional stickers and habit trackers and um, little things again. So there is a lot in this kit. Like it is a chunky kit. Um, some work stickers, bottom washi and date covers. And how pretty are those? Like honestly, I am just so excited to use this. Um, so yeah, again, I don't know what the size of this is. It is obviously bigger than the SPC one I got. Um, and yeah, really, really usable. So absolutely love that next up we have another planner phase kit which as you can see is an autumn themed but i am going to be using it um i think the first to second week of october which to me is definitely autumn time 
and normally I would be using an autumn kit but I am actually going on a beach holiday to Spain um, so I was kind of deciding between whether I just stuck to autumn or if I got um, like a summery kit and it was a really hard decision but I decided to get this one in the end because it is a summer kit obviously we've got the pool and you know the really pretty um, like cocktails and the hotel kind of vibes but at the same time, I think the colours are quite autumnal. We've got obviously like um, the orange and the yellow and then the pinks. So if you look at the autumn kits that I showed you before, I'm just going to try and get them out without obviously <laughs> um, dropping everything. Where's the other one? There, the lake side one. Like when you see these, I do feel like the colours flow. But obviously this is summery and the others are autumn. So I just wanted something that would flow in my planner like I didn't want it to be too obviously different but at the same time I wanted it to symbolize that I am going on holiday which I'm really excited about I am terrified of flight so I'm really not looking forward to that but to actually go on holiday I've not been since covid and everything so I'm really looking forward to it so yeah, I'm going to be using Sunset Vibes and I just think these boxes are so pretty. Like again, as I said, it is very summery but not too over the top um, and I just thought the colours were really, really pretty and the fruit and everything. Um, and again, this page and obviously we've got the little swimsuit with um, some skincare there, which I absolutely love. I do actually have an orange swimsuit as well. And honestly, like that bottom washi is so pretty. Obviously, it's like pool vibes, but a pink pool vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. And then we've got a bunch of extra fashion girls as well. So that is what I'm going to be using for my holiday. And then the other kit that I got recently from Planner Face, which again isn't autumn themed, is thanks for the stickers. So this is a gorgeous concert themed kit. And again, like I was saying with Bonfire Night, like I don't feel like you see a lot of concert concert themed kits so when I seen this I knew I had to pick it up I actually went to see Coldplay in August and um, so that would have been a good time to use it but I'm also going to panic at the disco next year I think in March um so I thought I'd pick this up now in case it's not available then because this is honestly going to be perfect for that um uh, so I'm just gonna pick it up we've got lots of extras here so again we've got a gorgeous full box set of the actual concert some tickets the girl with like the t-shirt and the tattoos which i think is really pretty the guitar with the guitar picks and the band and then obviously got some converse i think this is really pretty and again the colors as well are gorgeous imagine i'm obsessed with the background of the date covers we've got another um full box as well which has the docks in a really really pretty and um, colorful bottom washi and lots of really pretty colored stickers there and then a bunch of extra fashion girls and skin tones and things so a really really usable kit so i'm excited to use that next year and as i said i just thought i'd pick it up because i would be really disappointed if i couldn't get it um for obviously the concert next year so next I'm going to show you the new planner that I've got from Tilly Journals. I believe this is in the size B6, um, which is a bit smaller than I'm used to, but the layout is quite similar to my previous planners, which were the Erin Condren Verticals. Um, I wanted a smaller planner because I was just struggling some weeks to fill um, it with what I was doing because obviously I would memory plan and some days I just wouldn't do a lot and I was having to like just put in loads of stickers to kind of fill the gap and it just seemed a bit pointless um, so I feel like this is a much more manageable size that's just a bit of reference um, in terms of my hand of how big the planner is and um, like I said the layout's quite similar because it's vertical it's just slightly different which I will show you um, and I also thought that the price was really good for Tilly Journals. Um, when I was getting Erin Condren planners, I was spending like £80 and I would then have to pay shipping. And every now and again, I would also get the custom charges, which was a bit of a shock. So um, this was a lot more reasonably priced. And obviously it's from the UK and, you know, supporting a small business as well, which is amazing. The coil does look quite big, I'm not going to lie, but that's because obviously this is a new planner with nothing in it. So when I fill it and it gets chunkier, um, that will even up. Um, the cover that I chose is this one here with the little rainbows and the plants. I just really like this one and I also thought it was a really good transitional kind of pattern from summer to autumn because it's got some orangey kind of tones in there but it's not too like autumn -y. So I could probably just use this all year really which is what I wanted. I just wanted one um, that was quite versatile. 
um, and then this is how it looks so we've just got obviously like a little layout of um, the year in like calendar month grids there and then we've got a few little spare pages for notes and things um, and then this little tab kind of obviously symbolizes that it is a new month so this is what the weekly layout looks like and the biggest difference is probably going to obviously just be the saturday and sunday really um i would have liked a planner with a saturday and sunday the same size as the other days because um i work monday wednesday thursday friday 10 hour shift so i'm probably not going to do an awful lot on those days however i do want to use full boxes in my kit so i would just have to um you know use those maybe on the days that i work so that i'm freeing up the saturday and sunday and then also i've got my tuesday as well um, so I think I can get around that and like I said I did want something a little bit more compact so this is the only option for that really I think I didn't find any other B6 planners that had all the days the same size Um, I don't know if you can see because it's obviously quite small but it's kind of like a dot grid paper um, which kind of reminds me of a bullet journal so that's cute and then obviously it does have days of the week on top which i'll probably cover with date covers but i really like the font it's really pretty um, and it's quite plain it's a you know a blank canvas which is probably what you're going to want if you're getting a planner for sticker planning um or if you wanted to be creative this is also a great planner because like i said it's quite similar to a bullet journal with the little boxes um but it's got a bit more structure to it and i personally decided to get it undated as well and um, because i wanted to start it mid-september so if I'd got one which was um is it July to June I think um then obviously I'd be wasting some of that um and I equally didn't want to wait until the new year so I've just got it undated I do need to get some like little tab um covers or to write on them like the months but obviously I'll just wait and see how things go so I'm really excited to use this actually um obviously it's a bit of a change but not too different in a sense of um you know i wouldn't like it because i did get a passion planner which you may know um and it just didn't work for me like just cutting down the stickers it just it wasn't a vibe <laughs> um so i much prefer this which like i said it's very similar just slightly different in terms of the actual layout um and i can continue my sticker planning and there's also which i think is really handy some paper which stickers would stick to like I don't know what the official name is for it but it's kind of like glossy sticker paper um so obviously if you wanted to like stick things on there because you'd like maybe pulled it off the sheet and then you didn't want to use it i think that's really useful you've got a really cute little pocket at the back so you can obviously put things in there um so yeah that is the planner um and if you do follow me on instagram you will see this in action for all of my weekly spreads so next up i've got all of the sticker kits that i bought um kind of like towards the start of this year um so mainly they were for february march kind of time um and i thought i would include these anyway because i didn't feature these on a haul and i will be making use of them because i am somebody that when i purchase sticker kits um i do tend to use them all like i don't have a massive collection of ones that i haven't used um i usually kind of go a month ahead so obviously at the minute it's september and i've got all of my sticker kits for october and even one for november but i'm not yet getting like christmas kits if that makes sense um so i will be using these at some point um so i'm going to start with the scribble prints and the glam planner ones because again these were from buy sell trade groups that i got towards the start of the year so i'll start with the glam planner one because we've only got one of these i was honestly obsessed with these colours um, I think this is so pretty for spring because the full boxes are quite dark but the actual colours um, of the like functional stickers and things like that are quite like pastel-y um, so I think they will be really really nice for spring so we've got like the swan, the picnic basket, the butterflies, the lake I think this is such a beautiful kit um, then we've obviously got the half and quarter boxes some um, heart checklists a lot of functional stickers i think this is a little bit smaller than the autumn one i had to show you so again don't know the terms of the actual sizes but how pretty are these colors again got the scripts and the deco and that is just beautiful so i cannot wait to use this in my planner next year i'm thinking maybe may time that's what i'm thinking um but yeah i just thought it was really nice and like i said i just think the pastels will be really nice for spring and um, so i got that one there 
I've just seen that it said mini on it, so I think that might have been a glam planner mini. Next, we've got a scribble print call, which is December 2021 mystery. Um, and this again, I just absolutely love the colours of, and I think this is a really nice anytime kit. Like, I don't think you would have to use it at a specific time of the year. Um, so we've got some really nice purples and blues. Um, obviously, we've got the really nice bathroom scene and the robe and bath bombs, and you know, it's just really kind of self-care almost spa like themed and um, got some makeup as well which is really nice so i absolutely love that i think this would be really nice to use if i had a week off work and i just really wanted to chill that week and i didn't really have anything planned um so that's the full boxes a lot of pretty deco a weekend banner the work the flags um, little things and glitter headers and there is some darker tones as well as the lighter ones which i didn't like so um it's a really kind of purpley kit um more like little things and half and quarter boxes some extra full boxes there the um bottom washi and date covers i'm gonna say it i'm not a fan of this pattern i'm not gonna lie i'm not a fan but i loved the rest of the kit so to me it was worth it for that um so that was the december 2021 mystery and then the next two I have are kind of summer themed, I guess. I was contemplating using one of these for my summer holiday that I mentioned earlier. Um, but again, I just wanted something that would fit in with the autumn kit. So this one here is spring reading. So that was me saying it was summery. And it was actually a spring kit. But I think, again, it's one of those which you could use spring or summer. And we've got some, um, a little extra here of some foiled phone icons. So that's nice. Um, these are the full boxes and these colours are just really pretty, aren't they? We've got like really nice pastel um, but colourful boxes there. And I absolutely love this artwork as well. Um, I love the little treats on the dish, the books, the little outfit kind of um, flat lay there, the lemonade, the candle. That's really pretty. Oh, I really like those stickers actually, like the lemons and everything. So yeah, I guess spring or summer, but I would probably say more summer. Oh my God, I love those. A little kind of rainbow pattern. Mm, I do like that actually. It does go, um, but I don't love it as much as what the um, planner face bottom washi and date covers are, but maybe I've just been spoiled. <laughs> so that is the spring reading kit. And the other one is called calispera calispera not sure what that says um again i'm gonna say this is more like a summery kind of holiday kit if i can get it out um so we've got the really nice scene of the pool we've got obviously like some snacks the bag um obviously like the swimsuit it's a very summer kind of holiday theme we've then got some little things glitter headers i'm not gonna lie i don't love the color combination like i would have liked another color in here maybe like a green or you know even the light blue from the pool or some yellow i just think something else would have made it pop a little bit more and a little bit more summery um but it's still a pretty kit um lots of deco um again <laughs> i'm not a fan of these pattern but you know make, I, I can make it work like i probably just won't use the date covers at that week and i'll probably just use some actual washi instead of the washi strip so i'm just not in love with that but i do like the rest of the kit and we also had some little silver foil tv icons as well so next we've got some kits that i purchased for february last year so obviously these are valentine's themed and i will be using them next year instead i'll start with this one here because obviously we do have the little freebie with this one and i'll just get that out i'm surprised i didn't like take everything out when i got them but as i said i did obviously start to have a break what's that bit there oh yeah that's just the extra ones um so this was the february little add-on and um, which i think is really cute like really pretty colors and then we also got a journaling card so i will put that with my little stash i really like the little coffee shop actually so this is xox so i'm not gonna go through these um in too much detail i'm not sure if everyone's just completely passed everything now and just solely focused on autumn like me um but i did as i said want to just share them um so we've got the full boxes which are really pretty obviously we've got a cat so that's just like a win isn't it um again oh my god 
of the pattern behind the day it covers just so so pretty and i really like the blue in this as well like it's just a little bit different it's not um you know all pink which i like again really like the washi and the patterns of the other boxes and then that's the extra fashion girls um i then got cherry lips which again a little bit different because it's got i don't know if this is like a navy or a black i'm gonna say maybe more black um but i really like it when it has like a pop of a different color and it's not just all pink and red um, and the same for like other seasons and events as well so here are the extra boxes there which we've got quite a few of and yeah i just think these colors are really pretty um it's a really nice kit in terms of artwork as i said i really like the pop of the other color um i really like the bed scene and the pie and that little candle which is obviously shaped like a body i just absolutely love this color combination i'm not gonna lie and i'm obsessed with that bottom washi as well so that was cherry lips and i can't wait to use that in february coming up and then we also had flora which was again just a really nice pretty kit but it's not actually um exactly valentine's theme like i wanted it um in february just because i thought like towards the end of the month this would be a nice transition into march when we're heading into more kind of like spring vibes and um, so that's what i got it for but it could be like an anytime kit really or even if you were like maybe like visiting somewhere going to like a city for a trip so we've got a bunch of extra fashion girls there i absolutely love this one i'm not gonna lie um and then this is obviously the kit so yeah i think it's probably like an anytime kit but i was thinking for me towards the end of february oh my god there's a dog i've got an eye for the, the pets now i'm not gonna lie <laughs> oh i really like that butterfly pattern actually on them ones so that is flora and then we've got coffee and flowers which again i'd kind of got for end of february beginning of march and um, when i transitioned from like the valentine's kind of theme to more um a little bit of greens for saint patrick's day which funnily enough the next kit is saint patrick's day um so yeah coffees and flowers was this one of the mysteries that anna brought back i think it might be um i've actually got the journaling card on my little pegboard i'll actually i'll show you it because i've had this up since i got it because i just absolutely love this journaling card because i actually i don't really drink coffee anymore i'm not gonna lie i drink tea all the time now but i've always been like a, a caffeine lover should we say um and i do love a hot drink on a morning and going to coffee shops is just it's very warm and cozy for me so i really enjoy that um i'll show you the extras again which are those there and yeah i just absolutely love this like i love the flowers and the croissant the little sign the cup of coffee i just think it's really pretty and again this would be nice if you were like visit in a city like if you were going to london or something i don't know i feel like that would be quite nice but again just a really nice pretty anytime kit really really nice floral background for the date covers there and yeah this is just beautiful like this is a really nice floral kit like i know some people love floral kits and i'm not one of them i'm not gonna lie i'm not one of them but this is on another level i absolutely love this artwork I think it's because it's got coffee and just the, the colours as well, like the pink, the green, the purple and the, would you say that's like a lilac-y colour? I don't know, but I absolutely love this colour combo. And then as I mentioned, I also got a St. Patrick's kit. So, um, I don't think I celebrated St. Patrick's Day last year, but I'm planning on celebrating everything this year because I've always been somebody that's really enjoyed occasions and themes like I used to always have um, a little theme on my Instagram of flat lays so in um, January it'd be winter, February it'd be Valentine's, March it'd be St Patrick's Day so obviously like green um, and onwards like I always had a theme and I always decorated my little bedroom and stuff and I think now that I've got a house it's on another level because it would take just so much more time to decorate for everything but i would like to celebrate saint patrick's day this year so we've got the extra boxes there and again the purple and yellow like i think that's what makes this kit because when you think saint patrick's day you think green and i do love having green kits in march as i mentioned but as i also said i just love like a pop of a different color to just make it a little bit different i absolutely love those biscuits maybe i'll have to like 
recreate those because i do like baking got the little cart there which i think is really cute and the pot and um like the little outfit there which i really like and look how just beautiful and colorful that is like it just does look st patrick's day theme like you can tell what it is from looking at it and yeah i just think it's really really fun and also the rainbow like i think st patrick's day without a rainbow that just wouldn't be wouldn't be right would it so yeah absolutely love the artwork in that one on to the last stint of this haul which is the planner face mysteries i don't know how people do massive hauls because my throat is so dry from speaking for so long um so i'm gonna be glad when i finish this i'm not gonna lie um but yeah anyway so these are the planner face mysteries so i've got february march april of 2022 and then i've also got august and september so starting off with february it was the spring picnic mystery and how pretty is this i was honestly actually really sad when i got this because i really wanted to use it and i knew that i took a break and stopped planning so i'm excited to use it next year and this journaling card is gorgeous i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love that that will definitely be going on my little board but can we just the rabbit the picnic basket oh my god this is so cute and this little building is that like a cafe or something maybe um these colors are really pretty very unique i would say having the green the yellow and the peach it's not like a color combo i see often and i am all for it i said this for every planner face kit but that pattern behind it covers i'm obsessed with and again just a really great selection of stickers a uh, really really pretty bottom washi a bunch of extra boxes there oh my actual god that ice cream looks amazing i would literally love that right now these little like half boxes i think they are um and then obviously the other fashion girls in the different skin colors and things we've got the glitter add-on as well and then the mystery add-on which i'm always obsessed with so again this little ice cream popping up and um, with the like little lake behind a bunch of scripts which i really love because i don't always use them in the week that i'm using the kit um, and it means i can use them in other weeks as well i really love the paint splodges like i can't remember when these came into play but i absolutely love those i think they're really cute um, and then we've obviously got the squares the icons a little movie sticker and a really really pretty kit um, and that as i said was the february one which i will be using in april next year next one we've got is the march one which is van life and when i first got this i mean i was kind of half like obsessed like i do really love it but then i was like when am i going to use this like i don't know if this is maybe one of the kits that you would have to kind of save for you to do something like that but i suppose realistically you could use it anytime it does remind me more autumn though and i did obviously get it in march so i didn't have any plans at that time to use it but i definitely think if i went camping or something like this may be one of those rare occasions where i actually keep a kit for when it's relevant <laughs> which as i said i don't normally do but yeah i think that's really cute again there's a dog in this kit so i'm all for it i absolutely love these little cups as well and obviously you know it is really cute with the little um like small setup and the camera and you know if i ever do go camping i think this would be an amazing kit to use me and james actually went a few years ago to cornwall and we went and um, like we stayed in um i don't know how to explain it it was a tent but it wasn't like a pop-up tent it was like a tent of material like what are they called i can't even remember anyway not the point but this would have been an amazing kit to use then is what i'm saying um but yes yeah, so i probably will just keep this and i just i do really like it. i think as i said it is a little bit more autumnal for me um but yeah i really love like the background there it's just very like woodland kind of outdoor themed i love that the bottom washi is grass i like that got some more um fashion girls and fashion guys as well love that teal color definitely pops against the others on the glitter header and teal is one of my favorite colors so the fact that there's a teal in there i'm not gonna lie i'm obsessed with and then we've got the box add-on as well so i think this was new and then the mystery add-on so again the gorgeous double box and the scripts and everything and yeah i do i do really like this i mean, i was like i said i was a bit like mm, i don't know if i like this but i do i do like it and i think i will keep it and see if anything pops up and if not then i might use it next autumn because i've already got all my kits lined up for the next um like month or so 
but yeah if i don't go camping or anything or like go anywhere that's quite outdoorsy where this is relevant then i will use it autumn next year next up we've got the april mystery which is sweet arcade and i don't know when i'm gonna use this i'm not gonna lie i don't think it's my usual kind of kit like it's very cartoony like i know obviously the other kits that it's not like photo kits but it's a little bit more realistic and this is kind of like obviously the the fashion girls that kind of look like dolls and it is very cartoony and cute so i don't know when i'm gonna use it but i do think i'm gonna keep it and maybe sometime kind of like spring summer time next year um obviously because it's such a colorful kit i feel like if you were going to like a carnival or even if you were just going somewhere that had arcades, like that would be quite relevant. And I do like the journaling card. I think that's really cute. I love those colours. And then this is the kit. So obviously it's pink, blue, purple and yellow. So really, really pretty. Or like a kid's birthday party, something like that. Like I feel like that would be the time to use it. Oh my God, the sprinkles. I love that. And it is kind of retro, isn't it really? Like the little gumball machine. And it kind of reminds me, I mean, I'm not sure what this is, but... You know, like retro, like Tamagotchis and stuff like that. Um, there was actually a kit which was called something like nineties baby or something like that. Um, that I was gonna use, like on my birthday at one point, like one year, which I never got. But you know, that was very similar. Like it was very cartoony, very retro, very colourful. Bunch of extra boxes there. Which like how many extras are there? Like that's amazing so very very kind of um what's the word no it's gone there's a lot of choice is what i'm saying so hopefully there'll be one that looks like you and um, the sprinkles oh my god i love that i love grabbing machines i'm not gonna lie um so yeah really really pretty colors and as i said it was one of those <laughs> i feel really guilty saying it because i do normally like love Anna's mysteries like I'm normally obsessed but those two I just don't know when I'm gonna use like I think that's the hard thing like normally when I see a mystery I'm like yeah I'm gonna use that then and these ones like I did like them but I was just a bit like I don't know when I'm gonna use them but as I said I will keep them for probably at some point next year okay good job I'm nearly finished because Macy's just woke up from her nap and she's being very noisy downstairs so the next one is the August mystery, which is um, Halloween themed, I would say. It's called Gothic Party. Um, and I actually really like this one. So got a really nice kind of outdoor table setting, a little skeleton there. These are the full boxes. And I just think these colours are beautiful, like especially this one. It's a really nice kind of deep plummy purple. Um, I love the little like, I think are these cookies, I feel like they're cookies. And the little cheese board, I think that's really cool. So I'm probably going to use this um obviously halloween kind of time maybe not halloween week because i do really like the other halloween one i got but definitely around um kind of october time um and yeah i just really love the colors i think they're really pretty and i like that there's the black and then also like a touch of green so just a little bit different as well so that is the august mystery and next up we have the September mystery. So spoiler alert, because this is obviously the most recent one. So if you have not yet received it, do turn it off now. Okay, so this is called ice skating. And I think this is going to be the perfect kit for January. I really like red and green kind of Christmassy kits for December. So this will be perfect in January for me. So this is the journaling card, which is gorgeous. Like I absolutely love that, especially like the little pods there. I've never been in one of those. And um, I'd be interested to know if anybody has. So yeah, this is the kit, which I think is gorgeous. I really love the blues and the pinks and the purples. Very, very wintry i love the hot drinks the little dog in the blanket and of course the ice skating scenes as well and oh my god i love that of the phone because i am one of those people you'll probably know if you've um, followed me on instagram but i take photos of everything i don't know if you can hear puppy there but she is a bit so loud i feel really bad but i'm nearly done um and again just love that background and it's kind of giving me like frozen vibes a little bit with the colors um so yeah i cannot wait to use this in january um because as i said i do really like my themes and um, so obviously january will be wintry blues and very kind of snow themed kits glitter add-on i can't even unstick this now 
not only is my throat super dry but my fingers are like nope i give up too <laughs> we've got the box add-on and then my favorite part of a mystery i love the different selection of stickers that you get to a normal kit um and look at that double box absolutely love it so that is the september kit i nearly said december there because obviously it's kind of like wintery themed so that is everything um, thank you for sticking with me because let's be honest this has been a big haul and um, do you follow me on instagram because i'm going to be sharing all of my um spreads with you which will feature these kits here my next sticker haul will probably be october time when i'm getting stuff for november december i have also made um quite a large ish purchase from stick with a plan call so i've got some character stickers coming i've also bought some is it the coffee wants to call or is it once more with love i've purchased some um character stickers from somebody on a buy sell trade from one of those shops because again absolutely love those shops and the stickers that they sell but i've just not yet purchased from an american shop yet so i'm just gonna test them out and see what they're like from the buy sell trade um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video do subscribe if you haven't already because as i said i'm getting back into youtube so um there'll be lots of videos coming up and that is everything